God is supposed to be perfect, right? I mean, that's what we're told all the time. God is omniscient, God is omnipotent, God knows all and can do anything. We're told to look at creation, the perfection of this universe, the beauty of the human form. And they kind of have a point. I mean, there are some damned attractive people out there, with silky hair, smooth skin, bright and shining eyes, and a figure that just gets you all hot and distracted. Humans, obnoxious though they can be, sure are yummy. Right up until you get to their groin gear. You get someone's drawers off and have a look at their wedding tackle, and it's this absolute horror show of wrinkles and folds and creases. Nothing at all like the smoothness of the rest of our skin. You're confronted by coarse, gnarly pubic hair that, if we had it on our heads, we'd all of us shave ourselves bald to look more attractive. And if someone hasn't showered in a little while, it can reek in ways such that you have to go sewer spelunking to find a comparable aroma. Don't even get me started on the Cthulhu-esque dangly bits you masculine types have. Suddenly, Japanese horror porn anime makes perfect sense. I've never been more glad to be a lesbian than immediately after having glimpsed a guy's three-piece set. So you look at genitals and it's like, I'm supposed to do what with that? You want to put what of yours where? You want me to give you oral? You pee out of there! And sometimes worse! And look how close it is to your ass! Whose idea was it to put the amusement park so close to the garbage chute? If it weren't for the fact that orgasms do feel really good, and that, at least for you straight people, doing slippery naked things with the genitals is pretty much required to perpetuate the species, we'd have nothing to do with our crotch gear. I bloody guarantee it. And yet, the religious want us to believe that this is intelligent design? That a deity thought this up? Really? Seriously? What kind of sick-ass, yet allegedly perfect god would come up with this? Either your god has a really sick sense of humor, or we evolved in a process guided only by environmental factors and were not built to be pretty. Period. The genitals disprove god. And if you haven't looked at it this way, perhaps you should. Don't take anything for granted. Please, think. Please take the time to rate this video. And hey, if you dig what I do, subscribe! You might also enjoy my webcomic, The Adventures of Kinira Baxter. You'll find a link in the info bar. People not rating videos is one sign of the apocalypse. Save us all! Rate now!